occupied. Rock drain. Oops, I didn't know anyone was using it. Sorry about that. Um, the correct terminology should be blocked toilet. Porn. All right, so. There's a white mouse. There's a lot of them in there. That's a bit of a, uh, that's a bit of a problem. Another white mouse there. There's only man on site, tradesman, and uh, I don't think they're using many tampons. So that sort of tells me that it might be a Sydney water line coming down from up here, through here. It's blocked up down there and it's come up here. Well, only one way to find out is that to clear it and then have a look with the camera. So we'll drill a hole through this one here. She's under a bit of pressure. All right, where should we do it? What do you reckon? Maybe right there. bit of pressure Well, that's that cleared. Weapon of choice, CRS 38. Make sure she's working. She's working. Down we go. Now this was just what I'm told. Just an IO, an inspection opening with a T connection. A straight T. They've put in the uh, the dunny for the workers in the meantime so that they can use something outside. They don't have to uh, annoy the people inside. And uh, 
that's what we're here for, to clear the dunny. So I can hear us, we're heading down, downstream, down towards the road. Okay, on the count of three, one, two, three, Ushka, she's dropped. Have a quick look with the camera, see what's going on. All right, in we go with the camera. All right, we've dropped into the T junction and we're heading downstream. See what we can find on our travels. It was somewhere around here where the blockage was, so we should see some roots or something, I'm guessing, around about where our head is. Yep, my guess was correct. There's the culprit, tree roots. I might just ask Sam to come and have a look at it. Here's the builder on site, just so he can see, he might want to take a photo of it. So, we've gone down about 8 metres, and there's the clump of roots there. We've gone from PVC into earthenware. Okay. Earthenware starts back up here. Quite a way back up. Yeah. So about yeah. 2 metres in, PVC down the hill. Then around about the 8 metre mark, we're into roots. I'll get out of your way. What was that? That's sort of like a vert going down that embankment okay. with an IO on the top. All right. That might even at that stage be above the ground. Yeah. You might see it in the bush over there. Yeah. But those roots, down. yeah, those roots have got gotten into the line there. Okay. 9.7 meters in. Yeah. I can locate exactly if you want to know where it is. No, cut just cut them out. Not your problem. Oh, I will. I will. So I'm going to push further in or clean the screen? It's showing. No, all good. It's showing. So if I turn that on, clear the screen, we'll have a look a bit further down. Yes, cost me about six grand every time I do. <laughs> <laughs>
But that's the uh, that's the price you pay for the good footage. Um, that was a good photo. Yeah, I'll just I don't know what's going on there. So it's a bit of clay or a bit of. <laughs> I'd have to do the smell test. Yeah, I've got to clean them up. I'll probably put a different head on. Okay, you can see the roots coming through. Yeah, yeah, 100% roots. And you can see, probably once I tidy it up, you'll see that the pipe's coming apart there as well. Okay, so what do you recommend? Um, well, for now, they're going to get away with it. It's mainly the roots that have caused the issue, but it's going to get worse in time. So um, if it's not visible, they'd probably want to reline it or get over the edge and, and replace that section. Yeah, I'd say so. See if you can see it burning down. There's no visible pipe, Sam. That's not it there. Whereabouts? See the... Oh yeah, I see. You know what? That might be. But we're not in the big pipe like that. We're only in 100 mil. Um, that's a big pipe. That's like 225 or something. Yeah. And then it's sort of heading off that way. But as we go further down... Yeah, I don't think that's us. Come on, if you're going in line, it's sort of over there. I wonder if it comes across and joins into this big pipe here. You'd think so, eh? But then that might be the that might be the stormwater pit there. Yeah, I think that's stormwater. Yeah, and that's that's sewer. Yep. I won't know until I push further. I'll feel. Oh, yeah. Something's happened because they've put concrete on it. Here? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it tees in here somewhere. I'll locate it. That there is like a penetrator, so it so makes, it yeah, it makes way. The one I'm putting on is pure reverse, oh, yeah. and that that'll cut it. Yeah, heaps more powerful. Does it ever bust up the old? Maybe? Not really, no. Unless it's broken already, then then it could help. Yeah, it helps to push it down. to settle that's looking better it is that's a um it's a fairly good break in the line but it's not gonna cause a problem just yet it's more just uh, the roots being an issue in the future righty I'll pull back a little bit there we go I'll just go down a bit further, see what the rest of the line's like, see if it does join into that big thing. Yeah. But at this point it doesn't look like it does. It's got its own connection. There we go. There we dropped into a into a shared what looks to be shaft or riser. Yeah, coming from next door, maybe the other one. 
Yeah, so that looks like a riser going into, that's the mains there. So we're already at the bottom. Okay, that's 12 meters. Yep. That's the big pipe. That's the big pipe. So if I pull back to the, to the brake, we'll locate that, eh? That's more roots, or so was roots there. Someone jetted that before. Um, we probably jetted them out just before as we got to that point, so I'll just hit that a little bit. Yeah, that's good. There's a, there's a fairly good break there as well. See, there's a bit of pipe missing there. Oh, yeah. Looks like it's a hole. yeah, there's a hole there. So should I locate that as well, or? Yeah, like how are you gonna do that? I'll go down with the, uh, with the sond locator, yeah. Yeah, you may as well. Yeah, that, and then I'll pull back to that. They're pretty yeah. much within two feet apart. All right, I'll go locate them. Let's go hunting. Rigid. the spot. Now I'll push further down to the next bit. To the hole. Because oh, yeah. that's fairly important that they do something about that hole I reckon. X marks the spot. So somewhere just here, there's a break about that big, a bit of pipe missing in the uh, on the top of the clay pipe. And then we've got another disconnect here with roots. I reckon because of the size of these roots from this tree here, it might be ideal just to put a sleeve in and reline it. Um, we, no, it's under there. It'll be underneath these roots. Not far. Yeah, there's a bit of concretey stuff there. Mm. So the pipe will be just underneath there. Because if you cut that root there, um, the down. tree will fall down. No yeah. There, so. Yeah. And then it would take out the easement, possibly a bit of it, which wouldn't be good. So whose job is this? Um, the tree yeah it's it's considered still private up to the mains so this this drops down there and it verts across and where it joins into the main just there they're responsible up to that point that's the owner so because i think yeah their land is actually well this is actually well the owner of the sewer is mm -hmm. rental, is it? yeah that so wouldn't be here. even if, if it's in the middle of the road Really? Yeah. Unless it's collapsed, then then we can um, ask Sydney Water to come to the table. So maybe when you joined in, it was already blocked, but you just didn't know, or partly blocked. 
and that one there that must be another storm water I first sand to go and flush the toilet inside for me with some paper of course and we're gonna we're gonna watch here make sure it comes past loud and clear we should see it come past here one two three beat me to it well that's good at least we know it's clear up there saw the paper saw the water very good That's good, thanks Sam. Saw it come fast, loud and clear. Now I'll just clean up all this mess, mate. Oh, you will? Yep. Who else will? <laughs> the rat won't. <laughs> yeah, human rat. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I can't believe my solid logs there poking out. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. We might just scoop them up. And you'll notice too, Sam. Oh, God. There's always corn in there. That's all I do. Did you start off? I started as a plumber and went as far as my drainage license and then just said I'm going to specialise in drains. Uh, inside I'll clean that up as well I'll put this one down the toilet flush yeah. it through better all right we'll turn this back on pull that in there give it a flush mush it up a bit block toilet Clear it with the old uh, toilet brush. Okay. I'm just clearing it because I blocked it again. Clearing it with the toilet brush. I'll have to charge you for two blockages, Sam. <laughs> Does this constantly run? Okay. So you've got to turn it off each time, do you? I'm 
nothing but a glorified toilet cleaner. this toilet works. So I haven't hooked up this, it just fills it with water and then you got to turn it off again. Quite an ingenious uh, setup they got here. The base is full. You turn it off. And Bob's your uncle. Always put the toilet seat back down. As you can see, I'm well trained. We'll glue this on, and I reckon we'll be done. All good. 